Hey, good morning guys. Bill McMillan here with NDWX.com. Happy Monday to you about 7.15 as we record this video. And we were noticing some uh, drier and, and cooler air uh, move into the state overnight, uh, down 5 degrees from where we should be. And that's relatively uh, the same story across the Ohio Valley in the Midwest as this uh, cooler and, and drier air gets pulled into the region. And, and really, for that matter, guys, uh, I think that's going to help limit rain chances uh, today. Can't rule out a shower later on this afternoon and into the evening hours, but compared to the overall aerial coverage of what we experienced Saturday and Sunday, it will be much uh, more diminished. Starting the day with a few clouds around, and, and we will have um, considerable cloudiness around the area as we progress through our Monday, but again, the shower coverage won't be nearly as widespread as what we've seen the past couple of days. Best chances popping up after 1 o'clock and continuing into the early evening hours, but for the most part, these would be quick moving, uh, rather light showers, and not everyone will uh, see rain as we move through our Monday. So we move into the middle and latter parts of the week. A couple of items to note. One will be a, a frontal boundary that will pass through here on Wednesday night, Thursday morning. A shower as possible with that frontal passage, along with some drier air that will move in here behind it. And then a more meaningful storm system appears to loom as we move into the upcoming weekend. So uh, we'll forecast increasing rain chances as we move into Saturday and Sunday in association with this storm system. And forecast models are in relative agreement in terms of overall rainfall totals. Timing a little bit different, but the European would uh, place, you know, between an inch and an inch and a half of rain, most of which falling uh, of this would fall over the upcoming weekend. And then if we look at the GFS forecast model, it shows a similar um, theme as well with this. So let me just pull that up for you. Actually, a little bit, you know, a little wetter, but placement and uh, totals are relatively uh, similar to what the European is showing. I think greatest risk of a widespread uh, soaking rain falling across central and southern portions of Indiana as we move into the upcoming weekend. Looking further ahead, guys, great to see the uh, agreement here between the European, on, you know, the European data here on the left, the GFS in the center, and the Canadian on the right all out there at the day's 8 through 10 time frame and all signaling a cooler than average start to the month of August. Continue to think the worst of the summer heat is behind us. Guys, make it a great Monday. Thank you as always for logging on to NDWX.com. We'll talk with you soon.